over a period of time we realized that a lot of people needed a space where they could just come up and recite their poetry without being judged and just to share their stuff. So this, uh, the open mic is an initiative to for people to come forward and just share their stuff. So we want to build community at different places in Pune. Um, so Gyana Lab is one of them and uh, it's a beautiful venue and we believe like over a period of time this will develop into a very close-knit spoken word community there. So I thank uh, Dr. Uh, Ranjir Khare and uh, we have with us uh, Mumtaz Ma'am who is uh, very very uh, you know, big in the Urdu poetry scene in Pune and uh, hopefully um, Sorry, I'm not bad, so I won't sound very nice. This is a poem I've written uh, for my diary. Dear Dad, my dear Dad, your dad see that became a tree and then got broken for me. Flat and thin, scribbled over and written on from deep within, and yet you drew lines so that it got easier for me. Written to with words from the heart, passing through the soul, over on to the tip of my fingers through the tip of the pen, to you. I will write to you always, how I really feel, truly, deeply, relentlessly. And you've always been there, over and over. So much so, every time I needed you, you turned the page and became me. The day I run out of pages, I'll never be able to replace this book. But what I could do is, turn back over and noodle in the spaces, dance between the words. For every single interview, I could decorate with my love. And if the day come, I run out of blank spaces. I'll probably drain the ink of my pen. For my precious, without you, writing would seem so blue. Just like the spine of the book, you're the vertebrae of my life. Holding all my pages together, holding everything I've been afraid of since forever. You're that book that if read, could reach me through you. You're that book where I can write impetuously without having to worry. Because my dear diary has that little heart-shaped lock by its side to which the keys lie deep within, safeguarded by the trust. Every new chapter I open, I shall open with you. Not until we reach happily ever after, but until we reach the end. For this cannot be a sequel, it's a saga, a solitary, a one that remains just between you and me. Thank you. Recite two poems. First one is English. It's called What's More Important, Economics or Life? Globalization, liberalization, privatization. Adding each day to the economy its gratification. But be wise, and then you will see the question arise. What's more important? Economics or life? Equal opportunities or monopoly of rights? Corrupt corporations are immune to legal actions and our so-called democratic world turns blind to the suffering of innocent boys and girls. And how can this world be just when materialism has broken each man's trust? We all silently see this evil upheaving and often complain when results do not come worth believing. So please be wise and then you will see the question arise, what is more important? economics or life, equal opportunity or monopoly of rights. For it doesn't take much time to open your mouth, break from the TV and get off from your couch. Spread the word and realize the truths. This world can change through united views. And so my friend, be wise and then you will realize what's more important, economics or life, equal opportunities or monopoly of rights. I do write in English, but I'm very, very passionate towards Hindi and Urdu. So the next one and the last one would be in Hindustani. It's Hindi Urdu mix, and it's quite understandable. Title is Urna hai. Rishto ki ye jo bandhan hai, wo humne hi bandhe hai. Duk aur taklif dete hai ye, kyunki hamari fikr ke pehmane hai. Darte hai hum aage badne se. ये डर को भी हम ही पालते हैं काफी कुछ कहीं कुछ गलत ना हो जाए कहीं खुशियां हमसे रूठ ना जाए जो देख सकूं 
तो आगे देखो भेद के इस अंधेरे को हाथ पकड़ो उस उजाले का खुद को मत रोको मौका ना छोड़ो और जाने का निकल के बाहर हर अफसात से दुख से बंधन से मायूस संवाद से तुम उड़ जाओ उस आसमान में जहाँ फैसले होंगे तुम्हारी कमान में उगते सूरज की रोशनी में इन हसीन बहारों की मौसगी में क्या तुमको भी सवरना है खुद से जरा एक बार पूछ कर तो देखो क्या तुमको भी उड़ना है थैंक यू थैंक यू I'm doing Pune. Uh, this is my first. Hi everyone. I'm Karan Tripathi, and I'm from Simbiasis Law School. And uh, well, uh, this uh, actually these are two poems, but I never wanted to uh, like recite them like together. But I don't know. They're just like sisters or lost friends. They just came together. and now they are stuck together um uh, well i wrote this poem about my friend in school he always used to admire me i never knew his name but uh, like a year back i realized that he committed suicide and he could not survive what i am uh, so he could not survive what i am telling uh, all of you to do and uh, so this is how it goes it's called my tomorrow my tomorrow will not be the same my tomorrow will not bring the shame all the voices that belittle me your voices loud voices will not be loud anymore for i refuse to understand their music my tomorrow will be brighter my tomorrow will make me lighter as i seek to unshackle myself and learn myself for every perception of mine was made to resonate with your definitions my tomorrow will be clean my tomorrow will set me free from everything you said i was i am i would be as life is not collateral to those who rule it it's dynamic and adapt and white my tomorrow will be my creation my tomorrow will be my realization because you didn't think i have a voice though my humming is louder than your summons my heartbeat is stronger than your relentless word bombs for all your humiliating hate drums is as loud as my breath i just exhaled my tomorrow is mine my tomorrow belongs to me and you being my yesterday is as tall as this uh, make some noise pule <laughs> Uh, so that was my tomorrow and uh, the next one is called rewriting fate all my life i was refused to definitions all my life i've been described through words words which were never mine never rhymed with who i am or how i felt all my life i've been someone else for someone else All my life I lived the fear you fed me all my life I dodged the happiness that met me you were the master living my disaster my pain blinding my gaze all my life I could not understand my own language all my life I embraced the lies all my life I clapped my wrecking ship to shore for you are the truth that shook my beliefs my nascent dreams all my life I was ashamed to mirror myself. All my life I say I had enough and now I refuse to dance on your tunes or sing in your chorus like everyone else because everyone can be oblivious like I was all my life. I will not even hate you because hatred is so close to you and you ain't close to me. I will not let myself to be broken down to tears for i don't fear you or any stereotype of yours that knife my identity to fit the pigeon hole of your prejudices like you did all my life all my life i was i was reduced to definitions but that is not all this ain't my life you are not my life my life lies ahead 
and I will script my life that lies ahead. For I believe, I believe in my stars, I believe in my boss that I intend to face ahead on my own all my life. My life will be brighter, my life will be better than this death and your presence will vanish like this breath. <laughs> I'm Amitala. I study in St. Anne's. I had written this poem when I was just getting bored and looking out of my window. It's titled Happiness. Happiness is winning a teddy bear from the dark game at the fair to give it all your concern and care. Happiness is a smile on a cloudy, dreary day to help someone in your own little way. Happiness is a leisurely Sunday drive down a peaceful countryside with your friends by you grinning side to side. <coughs> Happiness is all this and much more. Happiness is in your mind and what you make of it. Thank you. This is Siddhant Bolke and I had written some poems when I was uh, about one year back and I fractured my right hand so I typed these poems, these poems on my iPad. So I'd like to recite to you some of them. The first one is Resting by the Sea. The horizon fades into the sunset. The blue-green waters it has met. By them the sea breeze blows. Seagulls flying to their homes. On the soft sand by the waves, arm feeling drowsy bow to those. Dawn arrives, orange clouds highlight the sky. Light fills up in the corner of my eye. I refuse to wake, continuing to lie. The sound that goes through my ears, a sense of calm ears. My mind doesn't mind my plea of resting forever by the sea. I believe the word you were looking for was empathy. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, thank you, Ganada, for giving us this uh, place to perform and all. Uh, we started Pune Poetry Slam literally two years back, and it was just a group of five to six people. It started by a girl called Manchi Nene. Yeah, and then it was just the five of us who were really interested in it, and we decided to take it ahead. And that's how we learned, that's how we developed ourselves as poets, and that's how we came to realize that uh, there is a need of a community of writers and poets and anyone who writes creatively. And we have always, always worked towards supporting the building of the community. And through that, we, we uh, like to reach out to people through different activities, sometimes even similar to what you just received right now in the form of 60 tales different writing forms, different ways of expressing yourself, where spoken word being one of those. So continuing this tradition, we, have also, we also have an open mic uh, next Friday at Pagdandi, followed by a slam on the 20th of September, like the consecutive Sunday, just after that open mic at Pagdandi itself. So be sure, come over there and have a similar wonderful time that you've had over here. So I'd like to close this open mic with um, an old poem of mine which copy paste from Chandu I have performed before but since there are new faces, I'm pretty sure nobody has heard it. Uh, this was something that uh, um, I wrote after I saw the trailer for Interstellar the first time, Nolan fan. And also after I watched a talk by uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson about uh, space exploration, we stopped dreaming. This is for everyone who believes that the entire expanse of Earth isn't enough to satisfy their wanderlust. The poem is called Lift Off. This is for the angels within us that aspire to reach back home. This is for those who believe that the earth is a vacation spot and that we were meant to return back to the stars. This is for the ones who suffocated when their breath was taken away by a star in the night sky. This is for that wonderstruck emotion of the realization that your favorite red star in the sky is actually a planet. This is for the ones who hated being six feet tall because it robbed them of their dream. This is for the ones who wished that they were Superman. Not to save the world, but to go 
out there and scream. This is for the minds with hungry bodies who instead feasted on the West stars light years away for those were the true delicacies. This is for the emotion that humbles you when a spiral of sparkling dots holds promises of neighbors anew. Oh. This is for the one wearing the suit, not meant for a dinner party, but having a higher regality. This is for the playground that invites you to break free from the gravity of your mother and indulge in what you see. This is for the rhythm that builds up with time, that flashes you moments of your life sublime. The rhythm that begins with the trumpet from the heavens as the countdown displays the number of seconds as 11. Launch initiates in T minus. Ten years of grueling training that prepared you for this. Nine times that you gave up, but did stick with it. Eight friendly mates that urge you to go ahead. Seven month pregnant wife who watches you from her bed. Six business deals that your husband cancelled for you. Five fingers that tremble underneath the tight suit. Four minutes that your mom hugged you with teary eyes. Three little cards by your kids saying their goodbyes. Two wide eyes staring back from the mirror. One heartbeat that was skipped in exciting terror. This is for the rumble that builds. This is for the cheerful cries. This is for the people around the world with your lift off. They arise. This is for the solitude in the midst of crowded stars. This is for the welcoming darkness that spreads wide and far. This is for that space where air is something you need. And this is for that star who gave me back my breath and allowed me to breathe. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. This is been a great time and we hope to see you again for our next experience. Thank you.